Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Panda Bear from Wee Bear Bears. So we're going to start by drawing in the patches or the spots around the eyes. So I'll start with the one on the left and basically this is like an oval squashed in and sort of turned over on the side a little bit. So we're going to start at the very top and again I'm going to draw it sort of elongated oval and turned on its side. So starting from the top, curve around to the bottom and then back up to the top again. We have this drawn the pupil, so it's basically a little tiny dot, just left of center. Just draw a dot like that. Let's move over to the right side. We're going to draw another oval, but we're going to tilt it this way this time. Okay, so starting from the top, we're going to come down a little bit lower than the top left eye, and we're going to draw an oval, sort of turned on its side, so coming around like that. And we're going to draw a little pupil. It's a little tiny dot. Now we're going to come down from this eye. And we're going to draw a nose. So the nose is basically elongated, stretched out oval, and it's also turned over on the side a little bit. So it's not horizontal this way, it's going to be turned a little bit this way. So just underneath the side, start from the top, curve around, finish that off. We're going to color that in black. From here, let's go ahead and draw in the front part of the face. So now that we have the eyes and the nose, I can sort of figure out the chin will come down to right, roughly about there. So what we want to do is we want to start from the side of the eye, on the left, round out, and then just come straight in towards my finger. So it's kind of got a nice curve and then it kind of straightens out at the end. From here we're going to go to the top of the head and draw the round part of the head. So it's got a big head that goes to the back and it's almost like, a, almost like a perfect circle. So we're going to start up here, we're going to go up to about here on the top of the head. So starting on the side of the eye, curve up, now we're going to round out the top of the head and come to the back, and we're going to have to stop right about there because we're going to have to put an ear on top of this head. So we're going to do an overlap here and just draw a curve going up to the top of the ear and then back down. Connect those two points with a curve that goes downwards. Like this. And we're going to put another ear on the back. So this one gets tucked in behind the head. So I'm going to put that sort of back here. So starting up here, we'll curve around and tuck that in behind the head. We're going to continue this line, imagine it going behind this ear and continue here, but we want to bring this back to the back of the neck. So we're going to curve around and bring this to the back of the neck like that. Let's connect those two points with a curve that comes down. So come back up. And we can locate the mouth in between the nose and the neck. It's pretty much right there. And just draw a downward curve. Just like that. Okay, so now we've got the head. Now we can figure out the body. So the body is a little bit longer than head height. So I use my left hand to figure out, okay, if this is the head, I kind of want maybe a, a head and a half length. So one head and then another half. So right about there. So I'm going to go to the front, down the neck, I'm going to do a curve down towards the front of the leg. So curving out and then right into my finger. We're going to go to the back and do the same thing, but in the opposite direction. I'm going to leave myself enough space to put the leg. So back here, I'm going to curve around, start to come towards my finger, and I'm going to stop just about there. And I can always fill in the gaps if I need enough, if I didn't quite make it all the way to the leg. So from the front here, I'm going to draw a curve. So doing overlap, let's draw a curve for the front of the leg. And then for the front of the toe, we're just going to draw a tiny curve, comes around. I'm going to curve this all the way to the back of the heel. So coming all the way back. Now from here, I'm going to curve all the way up. So I don't want to pass this line here. So I'm just going to curve up. And it looks like I might have to close this gap off a little bit more. So I'm just closing that off like that. Let's go ahead and draw some toes. So here I'm just going to draw one curve at the front. And then one more right beside it for the second toe. We're going to draw that same leg in the back here. So starting relatively about here, I'm going to draw the front of the leg. And then I'm going to do what I did here. I'm going to round up the toe. And then I'm going to curve this right to the back behind that leg. And again, I'm going to do some toe separations. Two little curves like that. Okay, let's draw in the arm. So here, I'm going to start about here, come down to the bottom of the arm, right about there, and come up to the top again. So from the front, I'm going to curve in. So it's curving this way towards the left. I'm going to round up the hand. And then I'm going to come all the way back up to the back of the arm, kind of like that. Let's go ahead and put some uh, separations for the fingers. I'll draw two angled lines like so. 
Let's draw in the separation for the body detail. So there's a stripe here and a stripe down here. So let's start with the top one first. So starting right about here, I'm going to come behind that arm and then continue on towards the back. So curving behind the arm. And from here, I imagine this going back here and then curving up to the back. Let's draw one more here. So starting right about here, I'll curve down to the bottom and then back up to the top. And then for the tail, I'm just going to draw a backward C. So starting up here, just draw a backward C. It's almost like a circle. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Panda Bear from We Bear Bears. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.